Hello everyone and welcome back to our life. Well today is day number seven, one week since the first egg was laid and uh, our baby watch started. Um, right now I just got a chance to look a little while ago because it's very hard to see inside the nesting box. Um, we still have just the four eggs. So I'm beginning to wonder if that's all we're going to wind up with. They are, it's harder and harder to check now because they are constantly on, sitting on the eggs. Sometimes both of them are in there, or as you can see right now, Daisy, the female, is outside. She's running around because she knows we're standing here in front of the cage. And I have a sneaky suspicion she would probably like to get out and fly around, but we, uh, we're not going to let her do that because we want them to concentrate on their eggs. And if we let her out, then there's a possibility that Floyd, the daddy, who's sitting on the eggs right now, will want to come out also. And we're not really sure how long the eggs should be left unattended. So, um, but she gets all excited when she sees us near her or if I whistle a little bit and uh, she paces back and forth but this is also good exercise for her. Did you know that um, when a female cockatiel is born they are born with two ovaries and two oviducts. An oviduct is just a muscular tube that's below the uh, ovary. But as they get older and reach sexual maturity, one of the ovaries and the oviduct disappears. I thought that was kind of odd. Uh, so they only have one ovary and one oviduct. The egg um, begins in the ovary. And the yolk is the first thing of the egg to be, be, to be developed. The egg then passes into the oviduct, a long muscular tube that has five sections, and each section performs a specific fun uh, function before the egg is laid. The actual shell itself is composed of 95% calcium carbonate crystals, which which will also be formed around the bare egg in the uterus. The process of egg laying from ovary fertilization if the male is present to the development of shell to egg laying takes about two to three days. And I think that's what surprised us in the beginning was the first three days she laid an egg every day so I'm thinking that she must have been developing more than one egg at, at, at a time inside of her for her to lay three eggs in a matter of three days. When producing an egg, females will uh, start drinking much more water because the eggs are made up, they're made up of so much water. Chewing activity will increase as females start to shed more paper, perches, wood, toys, in preparation of a nest. Now that we, we made it a little bit easier for her because we provided a nesting box and I bought some coconut fibers off of uh, Amazon and put them in there for her to use as nesting material. Now anytime you introduce what you think is a good nesting material for your birds, you don't know if they're going to accept it or not. And the one way you will find out is if they don't pull it out of the nesting box then it meets their approval and in this case the coconut fibers that which looks like a shredded coconut shell uh, evidently must have worked because even though they've laid the eggs off to the side a little bit of the coconut fibers they have left it in there so I think that will play a big part after uh, the eggs hatch hopefully in uh, them uh, keeping the uh, birds warm and what have you. It says females may also become very protective of their cage 
backing up into a corner and chirping softly. In other words, they're protecting their uh, territory. So, we uh, are going to assume right now that maybe she's only going to lay four eggs, which is fine as far as I'm concerned. This being her first batch. Will she lay more? Who knows? You'll have to stay tuned and see. But as you can see right now, she's been running all around the cage and what have you because she knows we're standing up here and talking about her. So, in the future videos, I think I may discuss what are some of the things that we are doing to help her along with the uh, birthing process as far as her health is concerned. And um, we will um, look and see if she has any more eggs. Uh, but I think four might be the stopping point. Time will tell. So we thank you all for watching. And once again, uh, feel free to share the video. Let your friends know that we do have a baby watch. I can't show you the eggs right now, and I think it's going to get harder and harder to do so because they just will not uh, leave them for any certain length of time. One of them is always sitting on them. Um, if you would like, we have a wish list down below the com in the comment section of the items that we uh, provide for these birds and if you want to help support the birds with feed, toys, treats, whatever feel free to do so if you have any questions uh, send us an email or a message and we'll get back with you we thank you for watching and if you would subscribe if you haven't already and give us a thumbs up we thank you and we'll check back tomorrow Day 8 and see if there's any new additions.